Is your mud team looking sorry? Don't trip, I got you covered. Go to my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable coins out there. And don't forget to use code Juju to get an extra 5% off at checkout. Link will be in the description. Yeah, pull up on the scene, pull up with my team. And I'm on three things, what the fuck you mean? Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another one. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I would greatly appreciate it if you could smack that sub button for me. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I'm still really sick, but I had to get my thoughts out, bro. I'm like seriously ready to take a toaster bath. Like today was one of the worst days of football I've ever had to encounter in my life. So I'm gonna start off right now by saying if you guys are younger, your parents don't want you listening to you know, vulgar language, cussing, all that. Leave this video right now because shit's about to get fucking real. All right, so let's start off with the Packers. First thing I got to say, if I wake up tomorrow morning and Mike Pettin still has a fucking job, I'm going to lose my shit. He is fucking brain dead. He is incapable of coaching a peewee league team. Like, let me give you guys an example, right? Third and four. He has fucking all of our DBs drop six to eight yards off the line of scrimmage on a third and four. Let me give you another example. We have Preston Smith in fucking coverage. In coverage on a tight end. For what? For what? He's not a coverage linebacker. He's a fucking pass rusher and a run stopper, which he clearly isn't because he hasn't done shit this year but get us fucking penalties. I don't know what happened to him. He needs to get traded in the offseason, bro. Like, last year, it was the fucking whole Smith Bros thing. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, now it's Sidarius and some fucking garbage, sorry, trash, waste of a roster space. Fuck Preston Smith. I mean, he's still solid, but, like, it's getting really tough, bro. Hella penalties today. Doesn't really do anything positive for us. The whole defense. Dude, it's not even the defense. We have fucking talent. We have... I'm going to call him the best cornerback in the league. Because Jair, he is locked down. Jair, best cornerback in the league. Zadarius, top three pass rusher in the league. Kenny Clark, top three D tackle in the league. Bunch of young, really good players. Amos is really good. Like, we have the talent on defense. We just have a coach with the mental fucking capability of an elementary school student. Like, he has no idea what the fuck he's doing. I've said it before and I'll set it again. I would rather a nine-year-old playing Madden on coach suggestions be our defensive coordinator. Like, it's just, it's a joke. Like, it's honestly fucking laughable at this point. Like, so let's talk about the second half, right? First half, we come out looking great i'm feeling really good about the game you know we go up 28 14 first half i'm like shit we really about to walk in here against the number one pass d let them know what's up represent the second half comes and honestly like after we went third or uh three and out on that first drive i just no we didn't even start off with ball i don't know whatever the fuck happened bro we couldn't do shit the second half. Defense collapsed. Can't stop the run. Can't stop the pass. We looked pretty good in the first half on defense. Like, I was actually, like, shocked. Because we weren't, like, giving up 19 yards a run. <laughs> second half, whole different story. Can't get a stop. We literally had the ball for, I think, what, five minutes in the whole second half? Or so, whole second half on offense. I'm fucking getting too far ahead of myself right now. <laughs> couldn't do shit i mean we didn't really get the opportunity to do shit because our defense couldn't get off the field then darius shepherd wants to go fuck around and fumble on a kick how does he have a job how is he on our team anyone want leave a comment down below let me know if you have any reasoning for darius shepherd to be on our football team what does he do he's never in on offense when he is he doesn't do shit What's he doing in the kick return game? Average nine yards and fumble? Yeah, rock on, dude. Fucking, tr oh. So then let's talk about the biggest topic, MVS. And a lot of people are freaking out saying, cut him, cut him, cut him. And while I totally agree, he's just, 
He's a tough player to analyze. He is the most inconsistent player I have ever seen. He is either literally the most MBS thing happened today. Catches a fucking 50-yard bomb and damn near triple coverage to keep the drive alive. And, you know, on that final drive when we went down and tied it up. Just absolute crazy play. Amazing catch. Then comes out in OT and fumbles on a fucking bubble screen. Like, that is the most MBS shit ever. And it's, it's like, to the point where, like, we've just been waiting for him to grow and to turn into something that I honestly don't think he ever will. I, like, I just still can't believe we didn't trade for Will Fuller. Like, we need more weapons. Our offense... I mean, Rodgers can't do it all. Tay can't do it all. Aaron Jones will be gone after the season. We can't even afford him now because we just resigned David Bakhtiari. Like, honestly, boys, I'm going to keep it real with you. We're not a Super Bowl contender this season and for seasons to come because after this year, it's going to be even more downhill. We're going to lose a lot of players this upcoming free agency. This is our last chance to go all out, get Rodgers a ring. The front office can't even give up a second or a second round pick for Will Fuller. Like, I honestly, I really hope Rodgers leaves us because we don't deserve him. Our front office does not deserve him. They haven't given him any help his whole fucking career. We have drafted two first round offensive weapons or offensive, you know, skill positions since Rodgers was drafted. One of them being Rodgers. The second being his replacement who hasn't even been on the active fucking roster. Look back at this draft class. What has any of them done for this team? Jordan Love hasn't suited up for a game. A.J. Dillon, they don't use him. You drafted him for what? To not ever let him see the field? He has like, what, maybe six carries all fucking season? Then uh, DeGuerra, DeGuerra tore his ACL or some shit. Honestly, the only person in this draft who is like played is John Runyon, like a sixth round pick, John Runyon Jr. Our front office, man, it's a joke. Coaching staff, it's a joke. LaFleur, man, like that fourth, that fourth down and one where we didn't kick the field goal and we go for it. That was one of the worst fucking play calls I have ever seen in my life. What did we draft Dylan for? That should be his spot. To go fucking run through someone, take someone's head off, and get the first. We try some dumbass play action. Everyone's going like 60 yards downfield. We need a yard. And then Rodgers just chucks up some dumb shit. Jamal can't catch it. One of the most heartbreaking loss I've encountered in my 17. Well, I'm not going to say 17 because, you know, I wasn't really a fan as a baby. But, see, in the last nine years of me really, like, getting into football. One of the worst losses I've encountered. It was like, it was just painful, man. And then I come, I take a shower or whatever. I'm trying to clear my mind. And I'm like, you know what? It's good. Raiders play tonight. You know, they going to lift my spirits up. We're going to go handle KC. We at home. You know, I start to get my spirits up a little bit. We come out. We look good, bro. Like, Raiders looked really good today. Even though we lost, like, it is against the reigning championship or the reigning reigning champion Kansas City Chiefs and we put on a showing like if that doesn't prove to the rest of the world that we're legit I don't know what will literally we were 30 seconds away from beating them and them or beating I can't talk right now I'm so pissed off being their only two losses this season Derek Carr Dude, he has looked really good all year, except for that last throw on the, you know, the end of the game, that pick. That was disgusting. But this game, man, he put out, I don't know his style or his stat line or anything. Can't remember it, but he was so consistent, man. Like, I don't know. I just, he really has been putting the team on his back. Josh Jacobs looked great, running powerful, running strong. Whole offense, literally the whole offense today looked great. Like, there's really nothing more we could have done we could have done offensively to win this game. It just really came down to the defense. I mean, I get it. It's the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the best offenses in the league, but I don't know, man. There's just I really don't know what else the offense could have done to win this game. We played great offensively. 
capped it off with that touchdown to Witten. And the defense just couldn't hold up. Simple as that. Chiefs drive down the field in, what, like a fucking minute? Punch it in. Kelsey's wide open in the back of the end zone. I love Abram, man. I love him. He's one of my favorite players in the league. He is so fun to watch. But he needs to be more disciplined. He needs, like, better control. He's just, he's always looking to kill someone. And he's not always making the smartest decisions. There, he should not have ran after Mahomes on that. There's no way you can look at it, you know, analyze it. You can tell me he should not have went after him on that. Knowing that this is something that the Kansas City Chiefs love to do a lot, get Mahomes out the back of the in or out the out the pocket, scramble, and hit someone for a big play. Abram fell for it. Fell for it, excuse me. Wide open touchdown, Kelsey. And then obviously we couldn't get it done. We had like 28 seconds and a timeout. Didn't really expect anything. And I don't know, man. Chucked it up, got picked off. Like, there's really not else much to say. I'm a lot more happy with the Raiders loss today. I mean, the Colts are a good team, but they're not on the Chiefs level. And to me, the Raiders just showed a better performance than us. Like, or than the Packers, I should say. Like... I don't know, man. Green Bay, we got serious fucking issues. The second half was just abysmal. Only points in the whole second half was a field goal with like seven seconds left. MVS, obviously, fumbles in OT. It's tough, man. Tough day to be a Packer fan. Tough day to be a Raider fan. Both teams lost in just heartbreaking fashion. Very, it was a emotional roller coaster for me to say to to say the least today. Just sucks, man. Like both teams have so much potential. I just feel like there's something holding them back. And honestly, it's probably both of our DCs. Mike Patton needs to fucking go. Paul Gunther needs to fucking go. I mean, he's been better of late, but I don't know, man. I mean. There's so much talent on both defenses, Packers and Raiders. Like, they need to be better. They need to do better. Especially the Packers, man. Like, we're just wasting so many people's careers. Aaron Rodgers is the most talented quarterback in NFL history. He has one ring to show for it. Devontae Adams, number one receiver, number two. However, however you want to argue with D-Hop. Like... Colts are a good team, don't get me wrong. Number one pass defense in the league, but we are a better team than the Colts. We have more talent than the Colts. The front office just refuses to get Rodgers the extra help, the little extra step up we need to really succeed and compete in this league. The Raiders, man. I mean, to be honest, Raiders fans, we're 6-4 and four right now. We cannot be too angry with that. No one predicted us to be this good this year. No one, like... Every year, we're just predicted to be, like, an average team. Nothing was different this year. Like, no one was saying, oh, Raiders, like, they're going to go to the Super Bowl this year. Like, that just wasn't the case. And the fact that we have done this much, I mean, also, we have had one of the hardest schedules in the league to start it off. And we're 6-4. and four. From now on, it's a fucking piece of cake. We got the Falcons next week. Then we got the Jets. Our only tough game is going to be Indy. And then, I mean, Miami is decent. Honestly, I see us. One loss at most the rest of the year, but we do have a really good chance to win out. Packers, we got Chicago next week at home, Sunday night football. We have a really easy schedule the rest of the way too, man, and I expect us, pretty much the only game I expect us to struggle with is Tennessee just because we have no fucking run D. Derrick Henry is just going to, like, just fuck my throat, basically, Bend us over, do a sideways, upside down, no lube, you name it. Yeah, man, it's. I don't really know what else or what else more to say about it. We need change. Mike Patton needs to be gone if we want. If we like, for us to succeed this year is what I'm trying to say. Mike Patton cannot remain our defensive coordinator. He's just he's incapable of running a defense. He has no idea what the fuck he's doing. 
And it's like really sad to see the talent on our defense just go to waste. Because we have the talent, man. We have the talent. Raiders, honestly, I don't think we're going to win the division. A win tonight would have definitely given us a better chance. But now we're two games back. I just don't see it. But doesn't change the fact we are still coming for that wild card spot. And I, we could really make a deep run in this playoffs, man. I mean, the defense just pulls together a little bit. DC stays what he's doing. Josh Jacobs is a fucking animal. He keeps it up. So a lot of optimism for both teams, man. But just a really sad day. Gonna leave it at that, man. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. Also, hit me down in the comments down below. If you're a Packer fan, Raider fan, whatever team you're a fan of, let me know your thoughts on your guys' game today. Yeah, boys, that's going to wrap it up. Tough, man. Tough fucking day. Yeah, boys, that's going to do it. I'm going to catch you boys in the next one. Peace out.